In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. They left the house at half past nine. The smallest one was Madeline. She was a detective solving mysteries galore. Monsieur, I believe these are yours. Ah, merci. Pour toi. Merci, monsieur. And she sometimes was helped by Pepito next door. Buenos dias, Miss Clavel. May I come on your walk and take pictures with my new camera? <laughs> but of course, Pepito. They took a long walk to the zoo. and to a tiger that was new. <laughs> Madeline just said, Poo, poo. <gasps> J'ai oublié, I forgot. The trustees are sprucing up the old house and today the painter comes. Hurry, mes petites, before everything gets covered with paint. They ran to the door and all rushed in and found a painter painting trim. He painted fast, he painted well, starting with the room of Miss Clavel. These are my most precious belongings. We must move them. This is the lovely scarf you knitted for my birthday last year, Danielle. And this is the beautiful pebble you gave me the year before, Nicole. Miss Clavel's birthday is coming up soon. I must tell the others. This is my oldest treasure. It is a photo of the students at the place I used to work. A reform school. It was a picture from another time of 12 little boys in two crooked lines. <laughs> hmm. Achoo! Achoo! I think I am allergic to something. Achoo! I believe that it is the paint Pepito is allergic to, Miss Clavel. Miss Clavel, what a thoroughly brilliant little girl. <laughs> This wretched paint is even making me sneeze, too. Do not worry, Monsieur Painter. We will stay downstairs, out of your way. While the paint was drying, a little later, the girls slept near the refrigerator. Bonne nuit, mes enfants. Dream of your new beautiful room. Ah! Oh! Bonne nuit, Monsieur. Bonne nuit, Miss Clavel. Mes amis, Miss Clavel's birthday will be here soon. We must get her a very special present. We love it, of course. This scarf is so ragged. And this pebble is silly. We must get her something more expensive. <laughs> a long purple gown or a bright golden crown. A factory of chocolates, of course. A big fancy ball, or a small waterfall, or a young white Arabian horse. The best, best gifts in the world are the kind that big money can buy. A hot air balloon, or the planet Neptune, or a luxury cruise in July. A sleek antelope, or the diamond of hope, or the arch on the Champs-Élysées. The city of Nice, or the country of Greece. Or some bright jingle bells and a sleigh. The best, best gifts in the world are the kind that big money can buy. A hot air balloon, or the planet Neptune, or a luxury cruise in July. The very next day, at half past nine, they left for their walk in bright sunshine. They looked in windows full of things, from crystal cups to diamond rings. Hey, Cher! Ah! 
This old church is called the Madeleine, spelled almost like Madeline, but with an extra E. Oh! And such a wonderful name, n'est-ce pas? <laughs> Move closer, please. Du fromage. Fromage! Ah, how I would love one of those. What did she say? They looked and they looked for what Miss Clavel chose, then spotted a big hat all covered with bows. Glamorous hat will be très cher, very expensive. We, oui, we must earn the money to buy one for our dear Miss Clavel. First, they sold some lemonade. Ooh. Then walked the neighbor's dog brigade. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing they did would get them paid. It is no use. We must find some other way to make money. Something unique. Something no one else can do. Then Pepito remembered the many times that Madeline had solved real crimes. That is it, Madeline. We must start a detective school. <laughs> You girls are earning some money. Bon, perhaps you will save it for college. <laughs> they advertised for willing youths and found three eager would-be sleuths. Moi, I am Hercule Tarot from Belgium, and I wish to be the police inspector. Hiya, dolls. Stan Spade from California. I want to be a private eye, dolls. Miss Marple from London here. I should very much like to become a Sherlock. Welcome to Madeline's Detective School. You are all accepted. Later on, at half past two, as the new cleaning man passed on through, Pepito sneezed again. Oh, dear! Achoo! Achoo! Miss Clavel, I fear this sniffly young man is allergic to the dust from the chandelier. Oh, my. Pardon us, Monsieur Chandelier Cleaner. We will leave. Class starts tomorrow. Please be on time. With the chime of the morning bell, there was a surprise for Miss Clavel. To Miss Clavel. Oh. But it is not yet my birthday. I will keep this safely hidden till then. Meanwhile, Madeline taught about disguises in a lesson full of big surprises. Très bien. Criminals use disguises to hide themselves, so we must learn to recognize them. Boo! Woo! <laughs> and now for the best disguise of them all. Voila! <laughs> I do believe there is a boy in that bush. Boo! You have passed disguises. <laughs> Next time, find someone else to be a bush. Then the very next day, at a quarter to ten, a package came to the door again. Oh, dear. Another present. But it is still not my birthday. With each gift larger than the last, Miss Clavel became aghast. Oh, dear! Who is giving me gifts? <laughs> Mes enfants, have you been leaving me presents? No, no Miss Clavel. No, 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 not us. Hmm. Oh, no, it is not possible. Was that a present, Miss Clavel? The statue? Oui, Madeline. And there are other gifts, too. Other gifts? May we see? But something is not right. A jeweled cat pin, a famous painting, and the lion statue? She read the girls the morning paper, which brought to light a dreadful caper. Le chat. Cat burglar and master of disguise is on the prowl. Cat burglar? 
He has stolen from the jewelry store, the Louvre, the Jardin Tuileries, and now the zoo. <gasps> Thank heavens there is nothing from the zoo. But as the news was volunteered, another present had appeared. It was worse than they had feared. Your gifts, Miss Clavel, they are all cats. And they are all stolen. Poor Miss Clavel was in quite a tizzy, and the playful young tiger was making her dizzy. She called the police, but they were busy. All of Paris must be calling about Le Chat. I will try again later. Do not worry, Miss Clavel. We will find out the true identity of Le Chat and why he is giving you gifts. Achoo! To make the matter more perplexing, Pepito's nose was once Achoo! more vexing. Achoo! Perhaps you need a holiday in a better climate, young man. Miss Clavel gave a hanky to the sneezing Pepito, taking her mind off the feline bandito. <laughs> young Madeline taught her class with feeling while Le Chat was out there stealing. We must search the house for Le Chat's fingerprints. Regardez! I'll leave my thumbprint. Voila! I dust it with talcum powder. Voila! Remember, students, the cat burglar is very tidy. To catch him, we must be tidy too. Now, to the scene of the crime. I, Hercule Tarot, shall be the first student to uncover Le Chat as I reveal his fingerprints. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Aha! The footprint of Le Chat. Hmm. I detect spiffy Italian loafers. More footprints of Le Chat. I knew I would find the culprit first. They examined the prints in a very close huddle and found that they led to a nearby mud puddle. No, sweetheart. It's not a dead rat. See for yourself. It is the house painter's fake moustache. The disguise of Le Chat. Aha! The house painter is Le Chat. Our students are showing some promise. We shall see if you are correct. Tonight, we will trap Le Chat when he leaves another gift for Miss Clavel. They had to watch. They had to wait. They had to stay up very late. Aren't you afraid of the dark, Madeline? And of Le Chat, too? Afraid of those things? It could not be true. To the dark and Le Chat, Madeline just said, Poo, poo. <laughs> Students, regardez our trap. We will hide behind the furniture, and when he appears, we will turn on the lights. And we will catch him in this net. Boom. The moon shone brightly as they waited. The trap was ready, set, and baited. Attendez! Someone is here! Remember, be quiet. The Shah must leave evidence before we trap him. Stop! Freeze! Stand stay here! <laughs> but Miss Marble was the one they caught. She had gone to fill up her teapot. You are not Le Shah. Yeah, yeah, our students are terrible detectives. Ah! Who goes there? The chandelier cleaner's glasses, I presume. The dame is right. The chandelier cleaner is Le Chat. Maybe our students are becoming detectives after all. While the girls were looking for Le Chat near and far, Inspector Moreau arrived with a light on his car. Mes petites, Inspector Moreau has finally arrived. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I do say, the window washer squeegee is here by the statue. He is most definitely Le Chat. Good day, mademoiselles and messieurs. I have uncovered our prime lead for the cat burglaries. Then the worst imaginable thing befell. Our prime suspect is Miss Clavel. <gasps> I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, Miss Clavel, we feel terrible. My detective school students and I could not find <laughs> Le Chat. <laughs> Do not worry, Madeline. The truth will come out. During this greatest of catastrophes... 
Pepito felt he had to sneeze. Pepito, are you allergic to our tree? I am not allergic to trees or paint, chandelier dust or window wash. I am only allergic to lost gatos. Cats! Cats? Hmm. Say, sir, that is it. Inspector, I think I know the real identity of Le Chat. You do? I hoped it was not Miss Clavel. You see? Wait! Let us guess, if you please. Très bien. Students, what makes a cat burglar so difficult to apprehend? He is très neat. He does not make a sound. And he is ever so quick on his feet. Correct. And he is able to climb very high. Like the window washer, the chandelier cleaner, the house painter. You are all right, students. Le Chat, the master of disguise, is all three. Voila! And just at that moment, he was trimming their tree. Ah! ah. <gasps> Is it possible? You are little Pierre Rofay from Reform School? The last one in line? And always on time. My dear boy, what made you become Le Chat? Miss Clavel, you know this thief? Cat burglar, please. Miss Clavel was my teacher and I her favorite pupil. She taught me right from wrong, but sadly, one day, I stopped listening to her. So you grew up to become a cat burglar? And nearly cost Miss Clavel her freedom. The gifts were for Miss Clavel's birthday to show her how much I still care for her, as you girls do. And now, pardonnez-moi, but I must escape. <gasps> My dear boy, listen to me now. You should not run away. If you truly care, you will feel much better if you repay your debt. Do you think so, Miss Clavel? Oui, I do. <laughs> there, there. Shh. And so the class had found Le Chat. They handcuffed him, and that was that. It's time for us to blow this pop shop. Oui, there are trails of clues to follow. We are ever so much obliged for the lessons. In the Abadigua, you are all welcome. And here are your badges for graduating from our detective school. Toodaloo. Au revoir, everyone. Now we will count our earnings. Oh, no. This is only play money. Now I do not feel so bad about giving them pretend badges. Play money. And how will we get the beautiful hat for Miss Clavel now? Hello? Mes amis, Detective Moreau has a wonderful idea. They returned each present on the double and received some money for their trouble. took the tiger to the zoo, where Madeline again said, Poo, poo. With the rewards, they soon could buy the hat from the park that made Miss Clavel sigh. Miss Clavel wasn't happy. It wasn't so pleasant to get such a big fancy hat for a present. Do you not like the hat, Miss Clavel? Remember at La Madeleine, you said you would love the hat that the mother was wearing? Oh, mes enfants, it was the photograph that I wished for, like the picture of the family. It was Pepito who made amends. He took out his camera with its shiny lens. I will take the picture, Miss Clavel. The best, best gifts in the world Are the kind that big money can't buy A home filled with love Or a clean sky above Or good friends who are always nearby These things big money can't buy 
Later that day, they took back the hat, and they bought a large frame, complete with a mat. Ah. Soon it was time to break their bread. We have our bread, we have our butter, but most of all, we love each other. And brush their teeth, and go to bed. And the very last good night of all was said most fondly to a wall. Good night, mes enfants. Miss Clavel said to twelve little boys, one of them a hood, and to twelve little girls, all of them good. Then she turned out her light and began gently to snore. And that's all there is. There isn't any more.